Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation of MFRS 116. I am Madam Yusna Liza. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. If you are returning, welcome back. In today's presentation, we are going to take a look on the uh, tutorial question and answer involving the counting treatment for MFRS 116 property plan and equipment which is equivalent to the IAS 16 property plan and equipment. Um, this presentation is specifically for FAR 270 but whoever students out there they are interested to learn more about MFRS 116 uh, PPE this video may also be for you so let's start with the first question here our first question is uh, going to focus on the recognition and initial measurement of PPE remember this is MFRS 116 property plan and equipment so um, let's look at the question this is the question and uh, expand is capitalized so you have the keyword that is capitalized as part of the acquisition cost and cost here refers to initial cost as it meets the recognition criteria of the asset so acquisition cost here could be the cost on the initial recognition as well as also in the subsequent cost that may have also uh, fulfilled the um, the recognition criteria but at the moment here we are looking at the capitalization or maybe is it going to be expense of those are the issue so we are going to look at these items given here you are going to identify whether the following items that are given here can be capitalized capitalized means it will be uh, included as items of ppe or will form part of the cost of a ppe that will later be uh, shown in the statement of financial position and another issue here is to expense of where expense of uh, is related to the case of uh, you don't have to add up to the cost of the PPE but this will be treated as revenue expenditure those will be treated as per statement of profit or loss so these are the issue in this question which is to decide whether this expense expenses or the expenditure given here expenditure which are the item given can be capitalized or expense of so the first one is environmental restoration cost you're going to decide and to write whether to capitalize or to expense of let me take my pen okay so let's look at what are the uh, guidelines of MFRS 116. So let us recall together what MFRS 116 prescribes. So when we talk about initial cost, these are the element of initial cost. If you can still recall from your perhaps FAR 210 study or any other uh, pay paper that you have me taken earlier on MFRS 116, purchase price, directly attributable cost, and initial estimates of the cost of dismantling removing the item and restoring the cost at the present value these are the elements of initial costs and if you look at the first one here restoration cost so restoration cost is actually the item that you can capitalize because these are part of the elements of the initial cost which is necessary to restore the environment um, back to its uh, original site to, uh, to where it is being located that is also to be read together with mfrs 137 which is on provision condition asset and contingent liability so the first one here is that you need to capitalize uh, the second one is on employee training costs employee training costs if you can go on and check the mfrs 116 also talk about some of the expenditure that cannot be capitalized so if it is capitalized these are included as an item of ppe however if it is not capitalized that will not be included as an item of ppe and it will be excluded from and it means that it will have to be expense of among things that are being mentioned are the training so uh, you can see here that the employee training was specifically mentioned as those examples of the cost that cannot be capitalized so this one will have to be expense of 
So we just need to write this expense of expense of or capitalized with the training cost. This uh, the third one is the site preparation cost. The site preparation cost. If you look at the bottom here, you are the uh, the initial cost, cost comprises of directly attributable cost. Directly attributable cost relates to what you have learned before, uh, whatever condition or the expense or the whatever expenditure necessary to bring the asset to the location to be able to cooperate in the manner intended by the management to prepare the asset for its intended use. So here uh, among things that are to be included is the site preparation. Maybe prepare the land, do the clearing, do the leveling, do the grading. Those are cost of site preparation. Example of them. So this will have to be capitalized. Those are there. Next one is the architect fees. Architect fees are professional fees. So for professional fees, professional fees, these are professional fees. A professional fees, if you look, there is a guideline under MFRS 116 that mention about professional fees such as those paid to the architects, yeah, which here is where the architects are paid for the design uh, for those so-called renovation areas. So these are also to be capitalized. So you need to be able to justify why you capitalize. These are because of the provision of the MFRS 116 given there. Next, uh, we're going to look at the last item here, which is the promotional cost. Promotional costs are actually, by its nature, are uh, more on advertising. So these are just like those costs that you have to incur yeah, to promote your business. So um, we're going to look at what we have here, promotional costs. So the guideline was also given under MFRS 116, where if you can come to this part of what are the costs that are not PPE. So this also includes promotional costs. So promotional costs here, if you uh, can see these, um, what you may have uh, not included, but you are going to exclude because promotional costs by its nature, these are actually the costs that are being expense of. So promotional cost will be expense of as this is not part of the cost of PPE, right? So these are the promotional activities, for example, that you have to introduce the product or the service. And these are part of introduction of the new product or service. So this is not to be capitalized. So this is to be expense of. Okay, done with that. Let's look at the second question. Our second question is a question from uh, uh, the uh, commenters, May 2021, from the uh, question FAR 270, question 1A. The first question that I discussed earlier was from uh, the uh, commenters, December 2021, FAR 270 as well. Um, let's look at the second question. Initial measurement again is the issue. Here is also more or less the similar situation where the we are looking at what are the costs that are included as items of PPE. What should we capitalize? And as I mentioned, capitalize means to treat it as capital expenditure and uh, expense of, which is to treat it as a revenue revenue expenditure. So you have dairy land produces and sells dairy products on 2nd January 2020. This uh, is the date of acquisition of the mixing machine, which is the PPE, is a new one. And the following costs were incurred on the 2nd of January. 2nd of January, the date of acquisition, DOA that. These are the costs that were incurred, expenditure that were incurred. So you have the price of the machine that also includes transportation costs. So if you check what you have in the guideline here, uh, the um, initial cost should include the purchase price. 
together with import duties and any other non-refundable purchase tax that trade discount and rebate so purchase price is part of it the transportation cost is actually a directly attributable cost because you incur to bring the asset to the location that the management intended it to be so the uh, both costs which is transportation costs will also needs to be capitalized because those questions also ask you about to identify the cost to be capitalized and the cost to be uh, expense of so here uh, we're going to write capitalize here again you just need to identify there is nothing to calculate this is just basic that you have done before so number one number two is installation cost installation cost and also initial testing cost which is done to ensure the ma machine operates properly so it is necessary to have that so these are also directly attributable costs where directly attributable costs if you can recall this also includes installation and testing where both are to ensure that the asset will function properly so it is the same as our scenario here so these will also be capitalized we just write capitalized in your answer next is number t number three sorry number three is on the um, the um, additional direct material which are purchased to allow machine to operate at its full capacity remember we just need to ma the machine to just operates properly operates pro properly does not necessarily mean it is operating at its full capacity so as long as you can drive the car for example you don't have to uh, go and in, uh, install things to allow your car if it's not a, even a machine right to be able to be driven at a full capacity but here this is to be expense of because this is not directly attributable cost this is revenue expenditure so it will be expense of because this is uh, more than just ensuring the asset to be able to be functioning properly so this is actually costs that are no longer recognized because the item is already there and ready for use so the cost is not to be included so this will be expense off next one is the training cost the training cost here yeah are for the employees regarding the machines to be able to be uh, operating safely and uh, also uh, the uh, not only the safely but also the machine operators are able to operate them so the training cost uh, again is employee training they are employee training here if you can see so therefore the costs that are incurred to train the employee they are not cost of PPE and therefore this is to be expense of next one is the modification to the machine hardware right as some re recipe requires uh, additional material so this one is remember the product is a dairy product right and uh, modification uh, costs that were incurred to the machine required uh, 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 hardware as some recipe requires additional material so this is necessary to ensure that the machine will operate properly so we need to do the modification and therefore this will be capitalized when you modify let's say you install some new component to the machine to ensure that it will be able to um, operates and um, produce the recipe some recipe due to this uh, um, whatever modification right so it will be capitalized next one so the modification costs those are the things the thing that you should have focus here right um, next we are going to look at 
the next item last one yearly fees for quality control so yearly fees for quality control certification this is expense that you um spend for safety equip uh, safety procedure which are for the authorized certification you need to have that yearly fees as part of the authorized certification you need to pay for the q qc or the quality control and this is to be capitalized so when you capitalize for example these are things like um, what we can include here uh, items such as equipment servicing equipment or standby equipment which you normally recognize because this is necessary as they are safe for safety and also for quality control so therefore it will be recognized and the cost incurred will be included as it meets the definition of PPE okay that's it for this first part I'll see you in the second part which is on looking at the calculation of initial costs uh, till then I'll see you when I will see you I'll see you in my next video assalamualaikum and have a pleasant day ahead